and he gives the thumbs up, blows the whistle, and starts the game. The drop kick off from Scotland's Gregor Hunt, from the Curry Chieftains, uh, a former Pro 14 player for Glasgow. He's played against Munster and Ulster in his career, 2015-2016 season. And Scotland retain their own possession from that kickoff and come charging. Scotland clubs carrying hard into contact. The Ireland clubs players organising themselves well. It's in the middle of the park. Scotland clubs carrying well and it's a lovely slicing ball through. They have numbers on the outside and it looks like they're going to retain this deficit. And they do a horror start for Ireland very early in the game. A try already for Scotland from number 12, Robbie Nelson. And a horror start for Ireland. They set up the mall. It's a good set. And they start to roll. And have Scotland clubs got what it takes to keep out this Ireland mall forward. It moves. Still inching towards the line. Five metres out now. There's a Scotland clubs player at the bottom of a, of a collapse. But the referee not interested. Into the middle it goes. Big carry from Prendival. Almost up to the line but not there. Poland will want quick ball. Just at the edge of the Scotland club's line. Poland says there's a Scottish player interfering. Slow coming back for Ireland, but eventually it goes into the middle. Moynihan carries two Scotland clubs players waiting for him just in front of the posts. Penalty against Scotland clubs again. It's offside. He's deemed it to be number six for Scotland clubs. Offside, and that's uh, Stephen Longwell. Should be an easy three points for a player of Aidan Moynihan's calibre. And he knocks it over duly to cut the deficit. The score now with 10 minutes on the clock. Ireland clubs three, Scotland clubs seven. Hard carrying for Ireland clubs. Moynihan with a lovely inside pass and it looks like Darcy's got a break on. Inside pass to Michael Brown as well. Takes it into the Scotland clubs 22. Poland wants his hands on it. It's slow coming back but he gets it. Moynihan. Canelli. Canelli with the pass outside. It slipped behind and it's just into touch. Five metres from the line. Superb rugby from the Ireland club's team. Ireland lead on aggregate by 10 points. This is an aggregate score game over two, two matches. Now that scrum is a little bit better from the Ireland clubs and they get a shove on and it's a very good shove. The ball's still at the base as they roll into the 22 and eventually the referee blows the whistle and says that's simply not good enough from the Scotland club scrummaging. Ireland clubs manage to make a whole 15 yards on scrummaging a huge effort and eventually the Scotland scrum uh, Scotland club scrum just pops up at the front massive dominance in the set piece once again Moynihan puts his boot through it the wind looked to take it but it couldn't and through the post it goes a superb kick under difficult conditions 27 minutes on the clock and it's now Ireland club six Scotland clubs seven that was a huge carry from Craig Grossman, who's had an excellent game so far for the Scotland clubs. Up to the 10 metre line in Ireland half, Ireland clubs half, and a knock on, and that is the last action of the half. We have hit the 56 minute mark, which means that the 10 minutes in the bin is already up. It absolutely flew by. I can't say the Irish defence was having fun, but time flew regardless. Throw into the line out is to the front. And the mall sets up. Scotland's clubs didn't even bother defending it. They just set up for mall defence. And Ireland clubs carry into the midfield. Benny with the pop pass. And that was Darcy's first action back off the bench. Dan Walsh with a carry in the middle. Three Scotland players with him, but somehow Ireland clubs managed to make three yards. And they'll fancy that. Reverse passes to Canelli. Canelli takes three of them with him as he goes. And a hint of high, the rain now starting to drop down properly. Benny sniping this way and that, managing to make another two yards. Ireland clubs will need this ball back quickly. It's slow coming back, but they still have it. Ireland clubs don't have the numbers they want. They're getting there eventually. Ten metres out from the Scotland club's line. Walsh tries to readjust his position and manages to... Ireland clubs manages to come away. Walsh with a big carry up to the five metre line. Sutton being told to go in and protect. As Ireland clubs drive on, looking to make more yards, Scotland clubs players will have to be careful in defence here. Less than five metres to go. That carry, huge carry again from Luke Cahill at the back. But ball is slow coming back for the Ireland club side. Benny will want it quicker. Another big carry, but the Scotland clubs defence repels. 
The forwards look like they want to do all of the work for Ireland clubs here. The backs will be getting cold and wet for a while, it looks like. Another big carry. They're inching out the yards, this Ireland club forwards team. It looks like there's a handout for advantage. The ball is over the line, but it's not grounded. Will it come back? The dive is there, waiting for the referee to signal. Nothing. And eventually it's up and a try for the Ireland club side. They went from 10 metres out, phase by phase. They smashed at the Scotland Cup defence. They organised as best they could, but there was no way that Ireland Cup pack was going to be stopped from five metres out. They ground out the yards piece by piece and eventually finished under the post. A superb try from Conor Kindrigan with two points surely to come from the boot of Aidan Moynihan. And a superb, well-deserved, well-worked try is converted by Moynihan. The score now, Ireland clubs 13. Scotland Club 7 and that was exciting stuff to watch a sniff of possession there but Scotland Club's managed to reorganise and take it what a massive tackle it is in the middle of the park that one from Hayes or from Conor Kindrigan who absolutely smashed the Scotland Club's players flung him about 10 yards back and manages to win a penalty for Ireland a little to the right of the post the boot has the distance and it has the direction, and that is a super three points for the Ireland club side to add, to go 16 points to seven up. And Scotland clubs have it now, as they look to build some kind of attack. They have it on this near side, it's forwards carrying and a lovely offload from the deck and a lovely return pass inside and that's the second try that Scotland clubs have managed. It's touched down by winger Kyle Rowe from air to cut the deficit. Conversion attempt from Gregor Hunter is out on this left side. It's a difficult kick, they're all difficult in these conditions and he's pulled it to the right and wide. Benny's at the back. It's Canelli again, another carry. Scotland having to scramble to meet his runs every time. A lovely reverse pass offload is into that, into Ireland hands. And the referee, well, after Ireland are pinged behind the game line, the referee says offside. You can hear it howling behind us a little bit too as Moynihan puts a big, big boot on it. And the flags go up. And that's a superb kick from the out half. Five out of five for him. And now Scotland clubs with the feed. Their attempt is to tie up this game in Energy Park. The scrum comes down and it's a scrum advantage, penalty advantage for the Scotland club side. It looked good from here. And it is awarded to the Scotland's club side. Gregor Hunter lining this one up. He drags it. But he manages to just about split the posts. The wind took it right at the end. The final score at Energy Park in Donnybrook on a windy night is Ireland Clubs 19. Scotland Clubs 19, Ireland Clubs, the winner of the Dalriada Cup for 2019.